and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Sunday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Oh, who's in next, Alistair? Uh, George. Oh, yes, Alistair, I see. Uh, George, George! What do you want? Good luck. D a quick word of advice. No, thanks. The wicket here at Edgeley has a tendency to stop. What? The, the ball stops on it. I've seen it here before. Just keep watching the ball. Right. No, it stops. If you're not careful, you've played your shot before the ball goes through. And that should bother me because... Because you could play too early. Justin, just leave it. No, actually, he's known for it. Yeah, right. Like, you know what you're talking about. Well, what's ruffled his feathers? I did try to warn you, Justin. Did you? George is in a foul mood today. Is he? Why? No idea, but it's probably best to steer clear. Why so rude? Look, maybe he'll consider what you said on his way to the wicket. Oh, I doubt it. Still, Ambridge seemed to be doing well enough without him. Well enough, I suppose, yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, Alistair. What? Oh, you sound as bad as George. What's the matter? Nothing. No, clearly not. I've just had a conversation with Josh Archer. He's pulled out of the under-16 summer coaching. Oh? He was helping to organise it with Hannah and me, only... Well, suddenly he can't, which leaves me in the lurch. I see. Well, if he committed himself, did he? Yes, he promised. Then I hope he had a very good reason. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Um, what, what, what was it? Well... Hmm? No, it, it doesn't matter. Sudden holiday plans? No. Unwell? No. Moral objections? Ah, oh, really? I'm saying nothing, Justin. Uh -huh. Uh, he lives at the stables, doesn't he, with your young vet nurse? Look, I'd rather you just let this go. This is an act of solidarity, isn't it? No, I'm not sure I'd go that far. Josh objects to your fling with Paul's mother. Which is not a fling. We care about each other very much. No, 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 I'm not judging, Alistair. These affairs of the heart are sometimes impossibly tricky to <sighs> negotiate. I know that to my cost. Deep pools of bitterness are plumb. Yeah, well, most people seem quite happy to judge us. Well, good luck, I say. Apparently John, Denise's husband, is coming to see Paul sometime this week. Oh, so you'll see him? Well, probably not. Pistols at dawn? Denise wants me to keep my head down. But I don't know, it looks too much like skulking to me. Mm, and meanwhile you're a man down on the under-16s planning. Yeah. Harrison would be a natural. He's had all the checks done for a start, but he doesn't want to know. I um, don't suppose... Me? me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so. Emma's going to be 40, Ed, and that's one of the big ones. Yeah, I know. The big 4 0. -oh. Yep. So I want to do whatever I can to help make it special, partly to say thank you for her support over these last few weeks. No, well, the hen parties and everything. Yeah, right, but also because it's Emma, you know? Well, that's why I wanted to talk through the party plans. Do you mind? No, of course not. Yeah, make sure everything's OK. Well, for a start, I'm doing the food. Yeah, yeah, so that's all sorted. It is. I'm really grateful, Fallon. Don't mention it. Oh, did I say about sausage rolls? You did, and they'll be there. And it's a surprise party, right? Right. Emma's got no idea. Nope. Well, you've worked out how that all happens, have you? Yeah, no, that's all good. I'll bring her to the ball for a family meal, so she thinks. Uh -huh. And we come up here to the function room. And we're all waiting. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> no, that bit's fine. It's, it's the rest. That'll be fine too, Ed. Will it, though? Really? Why wouldn't it be? Because I want it to be special, and I'm not sure it will be. No? I mean, look at it. What? what? We're upstairs at the bull, Fallon. It looks... <sighs> Well, it looks like it always looks. Well, then we decorate it, make it different. Well, that's what I thought, but I can't see how. You want more than just balloons, don't you? Well, put pictures up of Emma, like when she was little. Can you get some? Well, I could ask Susan. She's bound to have a few. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll put them on a couple of boards. Emma, down the years. And, and, and maybe pictures linked to the party theme. What mm. is the theme? Birthday, I suppose. <laughs> Birthday? Well, I don't know. Well, that's not a theme. That's an occasion. I couldn't think of a theme. <laughs> Our mum suggested 80s, but I don't know. Oh, you mean when she was born? Like all 80s music and stuff? Yeah, movies. Movies, yeah. Why not? It's a great idea. There's some brilliant 80s films, and, and the fashion was fabulous, really out there looks, you know? You could have clips on the big TV. Like, we haven't got a lot of time, but George could fix something up for that, couldn't he? Yeah, I reckon he could, yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh, I do want this to be good for her, Fallon. I think she needs it. She deserves it. No, I mean, she actually needs it. She's a bit down at the moment. Is she? I'm well, quite a lot down, really. I was talking to her this morning, she just... Staring ahead like I wasn't there. Well, that doesn't sound like Emma. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know for sure. I think George said something to her. What? About what you said, I think. The big 4 0. I reckon it's starting to get to her. Well, we can do something about that, can't we? I hope so, yeah. If I could do something a bit different for her as well, you know what I mean? Well, remember I said I'd bake her a special cake? Yeah, oh no, yeah, that'd be great. And what is it? Well, it's a surprise. Now, if we're doing films, right, you learn a bit from one of her favourites and dress up for it and do a few lines. Yeah. Especially for Emma. And she comes in and everyone's here and, wait a minute, where's Ed? Yeah, that's and right. Then... And then we all say we don't know. And, and then in you come and you do, like, like, whatever it is and she'll be thrilled. What, you reckon that'd cheer her up? Well, how could it not? Right. But, but I'm supposed to be bringing her to the bull. I can't do both. Well, so get someone else. George. Her son, come to escort her to dinner at the Bull. She'll love that. It's good to think of the youngsters, Will. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it'll be good for them, obviously, and great for the club. But I think good for the people who do it, too. And good for the planet. Yeah. Don't forget, good for the planet. Yes, thank you, Justin. No, actually, I think you're right. Yeah, about the club being good for the kids. So, you're interested? I am, yes. You are? Only uh, I can't do them dates. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. But I know someone who might do it for you. Oh? Because he's already asked you. Uh, pro- no, you were right at the top of my list, Will. Right. So, um, who did you have in mind? How about George? <laughs> George? What, what you said about being good for the ones who do it? I think that's right. It could help George a lot. You do know it's unpaid. Well, he needs a confidence boost just now. Would he do it, do you think? He might. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have a word and let you know. Oh, thank you, Will. Oh, bad luck. Well played. Right. I'm in next. I'll see George after the match. That's great, Will. Thanks. He won't do it. What? Young George, he won't do it. Well, maybe not, but who knows, he might. I know people, Alistair, and George, for all his qualities, is not the type. Well, we'll see, won't we? Well, we will indeed. And a tenor says he won't. What about The Shining? The Shining? Well, that was in the 80s. So so you do Jack Nicholson? Here's Johnny! (laughs) I don't think so. You know, it's supposed to be a nice surprise. Uh, Yeah, fair. So what else was big then? Star Wars. Oh, now you're talking. Go on. Return of the Jedi? I'm not dressing up as an Ewok. Oh, but Ed, they're so cuddly. Uh, Any road. I never liked them. Then what did she like? I don't know. uh, Princess Bride? Mm E.T.? E.T.? I'm not doing E.T. either. It's just a bold Ewok. (laughs) Well, what about Saturday Night Fever? I know she loves that film. Well, I'm supposed to dance like John Travolta, yeah? Yes! A dance routine! Like strike a pose, roll your arms, all that stuff. Well, But it only has to be a couple of minutes. I don't know. You can do it, Ed. I've seen you at Glastonbury. <laughs> and I'm sure that there's a suit in the costume store at the Village Hall that would do. Well, a white suit? It's white-ish. Why don't we go down and have a look? Here's to another victory, then. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. oh, I'd call that comprehensive, wouldn't you? I suppose so. Well, you don't like to speak too soon, but, well, you know. What? We're doing well, George. Ambridge. I'm right up there with the front runners. Oh, yeah. I was having a word with Alistair about the future of the club. 
you know, investing in the future, like the youngsters. What are you on about? The under-16s. They got this training camp lined up. I know. Oh, you know about it. Alistair's been moaning on to anyone daft enough to listen. He wants someone to help run it. Oh. What about it, anyway? Well... You're not thinking of doing it, are you? Not me, no. Right. But I was wondering... What? No. Well, you're good with kids, George. No. With Poppy and Kira and get on with Henry. You didn't tell Alistair I would, did you? No, of course not. Because I'm not doing it, Dad. I'm not interested. And anyway, I've got my own stuff to take care of. It's not just about the club, though, George. It could be good for you, too. How'd you work that out? Well, it kind of takes you out of yourself. And I thought... Why would I want to do that? I thought it might take your mind off things. What things? You seem a bit low. So I thought... Maybe it would help you to get involved. No, no, it wouldn't. Stop trying to pull my strings, will you? That's not what I'm doing. It is. Same as always. Just butt out. I don't want to know. I think we can probably take that as a no, don't you? You did seem fairly sure about it, I suppose. Fairly sure? (laughs) Adam, the dad says. No need to look so pleased. I think it's a shame. As I told you, Alistair, I understand people. Ten pounds, I think we said. And shake your body. Do it top to bottom, like a wave. <laughs> That's it, Ed. It's great. It'll be easier with music. We will have music on Wednesday. Right. You just do this sequence like we worked out and add it to the music. Now do the cuff thing. What, what cuff thing? Like you're checking your shirt cuffs, oh, remember? Yeah. Right cuff. That's it. And yeah. left cuff. Uh-huh. And arm rolls. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that looks super cool. Oh. <laughs> I have to get my breath back right now. You can really do this, you know. Well, the problem is I can't always remember the sequence. Well, I'll, I'll write it out for you. Basically, it's only about four or five moves and then repeat. Four moves. Yeah, like we worked out. Barge through the door, uh-huh. strike a pose. Point to the sky. And the music starts. Then... Wait, 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 wait. let me think, let me think. Shake the body. Yeah. Check the cuffs. Right, then Arm left. Arm rolls. Yeah. And step and strut. And step and strut. And hips. Uh, in, in. Out. In. Out. And, in, spin. and spin. And and that's the sequence. And shake. Cuffs. Arm, Arm rolls. rolls. Yeah. Step and strut. And, 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 and hips. Hips, yeah. In. Yeah. And and spit. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and then repeat. <laughs> the suit looks really good, by the way. It's a bit on the tight side. No, it'll look so great though when it's over and you step up to Emma and take her hand. Yeah. yeah. And then you can dance just however you like. And unless. What? How about the big finish? What big finish? Like you know, maybe squat down and bounce back up oh, again. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> With I know. your hands out like a star. I know, like this. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, no. Oh, maybe not. I've torn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is going to work, isn't it, Paul? Oh, you'll be fine. I don't mean me. I mean for Emma. I want this to be good for her. Ed, she's going to love it. For certain. Oh, uh, kind of. Yeah. Okay. And and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one. Yeah, that's. I mean, Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but. Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever